Yeah, he's pulled up some good. Dude, how are you? Good to see you too. Good to start. Gentlemen, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mason Ochoa and family, honorable mayor, city council members, congressmen, and all the guests out in the audience. Welcome to fire station number two. My name is John Muir. I'm one of the battalion chiefs here, Placentia Fire and Life Safety. We are gathered here to honor Mason Ochoa for his heroic efforts on October 20th, where he saved his brother's life after he had fallen into a pool. If you would first, let's give him a round of applause. Time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Fire Chief of Placentia Fire and Life Safety, Pono Van Giesen. Good afternoon. <clears throat> my name is uh, Pono Van Giesen. I'm the Fire Chief here in the city of Placentia. I've got the honor to work with the Placentia Fire and Life Safety and Lynch Ambulance to provide emergency services uh, for the city of Placentia. So, <clears throat> welcome. Welcome to our home, Fire Station 2. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Smith, um, Congressman, city, uh, Council members, uh, guests, we're here to recognize the, the actions of, of Mason. On Tuesday, October 20th of this year, Placentia Fire and Life Safety received a 911 call for the residents at, in the 1300 block of Roxboro, here in the city of Placentia. The call for service was reported for a two-year-old who had fallen in a pool. The two-year-old's older brother, Mason, quickly responded into action when he realized his brother was in distress. Mason had witnessed his brother in distress by monitoring the um, home security monitor. So he witnessed his, his brother in distress on the home security monitor and he rushed into action. He ran outside, he reached into the pool, and he grabbed his brother's arm, and he yelled for help. Shortly thereafter, Mason's mother came, and they assisted with pulling his brother out. Placentia Fire and Life Safety and the paramedics from Lynch Ambulance um, were quickly to, quick to respond. We got on the scene, and they assessed uh, Mason's brother. And then they treated him and transported him to Children's Hospital here in Orange County. We're happy to report that the child sustained no injuries from the incident. It's important to note that you know, he's here with us today in the celebration as well. You know, it's fitting that we recognize Mason today with the title of firefighter. Individuals in this profession gravitate to this calling because they have a need to act. And it's not just firefighters, it's also paramedics, it's also law enforcement. And Mason's actions that day were representative of those qualities that, uh, well, I've prided myself throughout my career. I'd like to take the opportunity just to recognize him once again with a round of applause. 
Mason, good job. And we're going to be presenting some items for him um, in just a bit. But first, I'd like to uh, call up Mayor Smith and let him know. This is all about you, okay? You're the, you're the true hero of the day here, okay? So we're here to honor you with some things. But I just want to say that with almost a 40-year history of... Uh, public service to this city, both in the police department and here is uh, serving on council as mayor, there has been many an occasion that these situations have had not such a great ending. And uh, the fact of the matter is, is that Mason, you acted calmly, quickly, and in a responsive sense to save your brother, to notify your mom, and to get the help that you needed to make things right. So I'm telling you, it is a true pleasure today to recognize you, and we will have, as the chief said, some presentations for you, and we're just so proud of you, and I'm sure your parents are as well. So thank you. Come up here with me. Lynch. I'm the CEO of Lynch EMS, and thank you all for coming today. You know, I'll be quick, um, but I just want to say that um, we respond to these calls sometimes in the end in tragedy. So uh, when I say this for all the paramedics that serve the city of Placentia, that uh, we really appreciate Mason. Um, your heroic act that day uh, could have ended in a much more tragic ending without that. Mason, thank you so much. We're going to present Mason with a uh, honorary paramedic of the day award. Thank you. I'm Congressman Cisneros would like to come up and say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Congressman Gil Cisneros. I want to welcome you all here. I, I want to especially welcome Mason, Mason and the Ochoa family for being here today. Um, look, I'll keep this short and simple. Uh, Mason, you exemplify what it is to be a big brother. A big brother is supposed to be a protector of his little brother and look out and look out for him. And you truly did that on October 20th when you went to go and, and help your brother and save his life. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, I'm sure you will continue to look out for your brother as you both grow up. But thank you for everything. And with that, Mason, I want to present you with this certificate uh, of recognition for your bravery. So if we can. Chief Mike Finnerty is going to make a presentation on behalf of the fire department and Lynch paramedics as well. Just like to present him with the, the uniform of a firefighter in honor of his courageous efforts to uh, protect his brother and keep him safe. And uh, thought it'd be appropriate for him to 
to wear the uniform of a firefighter in honor of, of his actions. I'm Perry. I'm representing the Placentia Police Department, and um, I'm here on behalf of Chief Darren Ligne, who wants to uh, congratulate this young man for his heroic deeds. And on behalf of the Placentia Police Department, we have this hometown hero medal for him. Good afternoon, my name is Cody Roesti, captain with the Placentia Fire Department. And we would just like to tell Mason, really good job being an older brother and you're always gonna be a hero to us. And on behalf of Fire Station 1 and Fire Station 2, you're always welcome to come and be an honorary firefighter with us. We'd like to present Mason with our Fire Department Challenge Coin, as well as one of our patches. Uh, just to round this out, as an honorary firefighter, um, you know, we personally, the Placentia Fire and Life Safety, would like to give um, Mason an actual fire helmet. This is the exact same fire helmets that we wear on our fire trucks. So, uh, you know, I've said before that Mason has the character traits and um, the innate qualities to be a responder. So what I'm saying to Mason now is you hold on to this and come see me in about 14 years and... Uh, <laughs> I've got a job waiting for you. If we can have all fire and EMS personnel come, come to uh, the microphone so we can do some pictures. We'll Uh, yes, I am. So you can only imagine the, the fear on the part of the mother, mm -hmm. and um, you know what? What were you thinking as a dad as you looked at this tiny baby boy? 
Well, like you said, it hits home because uh, I have a child of my own. And uh, a lot of things go through our minds when we run on these calls. They certainly don't get any easier. But uh, certainly it was a sign of relief when we saw that mother had him in the arms and he was breathing and he was tracking. So, but yes, the stress level is certainly high and it hits home once we have calls like that. And what did she tell you happened? Well, actually, um, he was the patient person. So I, he was in there interviewing the, the patient and the mother. So I honestly didn't know, know about this until after the call. Okay, did so. you talk to Mason, the four-year-old? Uh, yes, a little bit I did, for a little bit, and uh, he was just, you know, just waving and happy to see us, like, just like a happy little kid, like he didn't even realize what he did, but um, he's a hero, Mason's a hero, he saved his brother's life, so we're all proud of him. Okay, let me switch back, describe what you think about your grandson, Mason. Well, uh, for me, my, my grandson is a hero, so I, I, I feel very proud of him. It was a sad, uh, sad day that day, but uh, right now we can talk about it. I'm happy now for my both of them, for both of my grandsons. Yes, what a beautiful picture to see the boys together. Oh yeah. For their whole life, they protect each other, right? Yes, correct. So did Mason talk to you about it when you said, Mason, tell me? No, actually, uh, I try not to involve the my grandson to think about that day that much but uh, all he told me is uh, oh I pulled out my brother out of the pool but it was heavy that's all he told me and I, I didn't try to go farther I just yeah. I understand you, yeah. you don't want to traumatize him yeah, exactly. but for him now he's seeing now what yeah now he's uh, we don't talk about that no more in the house believe me I, I don't like to talk about that but uh, you know, it's, it, it's a sample for the rest of the families. Whoever has a pool and, and they have little kids, they have to be very careful. It, it's, it's, it's sad sometimes. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to go there. Yeah, I understand. And how do you think Mason knew what to do? He's, he's a very smart boy. Because, yeah, he is. And he, he's a fast learner. So he learns to swim. He knows how to swim. So that helped us a lot because he's only four years old. I mean, it's, it's I don't know what, what to say, but uh, he's my hero. <laughs> he's my hero, that, that's all I can say. And you know, what's really important about all of us telling this story is it could happen to any family. Oh yeah. I have a pool in my backyard. It, Our kids everybody, all who has a, everybody who has a pool in their house, they will be watching for the little ones. It's, it's, it's only a second. It takes only a second to have uh, an accident like that. So they have to be very careful. And, and so will they put a fence around the pool? It actually, the house has a fence, but uh, because they're selling the house, they have to remove it. That's how it happens. That's, what, that's when it happens. That's what I'm saying. You have to be very careful. It's only a second to have that kind of accidents. So we can prevent that just watching the, the little ones. Well, thank you for your time. Will you please spell, sir, your name for me? Raul. Yes. R A U L. Yes. B of Victor. E L E Z. Velez. Velez. Primeramente, ¿cuál es su nombre? Mi nombre es Raul Velez. Señor Raul, dígame. ¿Cómo se siente en este día? Ah, me siento contento por la familia, por mis, por mis nietos, pues que finalmente todo salió bien. Cuando usted se enteró de, 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 de que lo que pasó, ¿cómo fue ese día? ¿Fue de ese... No, pues en, en realidad fue rápido porque yo estaba trabajando, nadie, no, nadie me avisó hasta que llegué a la casa. Fue cuando noté que algo había pasado. Pues no pregunté mucho, ya más o menos miré como con las uh, ropas en el piso y mi yerno me dijo lo que había pasado, pues no pregunté más, no quise saber, solamente saber que el niño estuviera bien y fue todo. Fue algo increíble ver que un, un, un niño de esa edad hacer lo que hizo. ¿no? Exactamente, que un niño de cuatro años saque a otro niño de dos años de una alberca es, es un milagro para mí. Es muy difícil que, que pasen esos accidentes, pero pasan siempre que cuando hay una alberca y que hay niños, tiene que estar uno muy pendiente. ¿Cómo ha sido? ¿Cómo, cómo, 
una vez más, es, es muy difícil, para uno de adulto es muy difícil reaccionar de esa manera, no tanto de un niño. Así. Exactamente, no, te imaginas, si uno, si uno en ese momento se puede, eh, no sé, paniquear, no sé, y para que mi nieto con calma, tuviera la calma de estar ayudando a su hermano y hablar a la mamá, es, 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 es un milagro para mí, y un héroe mi niño pues también, porque... Ahora también lo que agradezco a Dios también que, que mi niño de cuatro años, Mason, aprendió a nadar rápido. Porque él ya sabe nadar, por eso ayudó a su hermanito. Si no, si no hubiera sabido, no quiero ni pensar. ¿Qué es lo que piensa de Mason? Oh, Mason es mi héroe. A los dos los quiero igual, a mi nieto, o sea, a mi nieta tengo otra nieta, pero, pero Mason ahorita es, es el, el héroe de la familia ahorita. Raúl Vélez. Raúl Vélez, correcto. Sí, B de Victoria. Gracias, señor.